Our brains operate in two distinct modes, system one, which is fast, automatic, and unconscious, and system two, which is deliberate and conscious, but requires significant effort. First, let's adjust the project settings, 1080p and 30fps for the frame rate, and click here for the vertical resolution, and hit save. Now, click here to activate the vertical viewer, and one last thing, to have a smooth playback, because DaVinci Resolve is quite heavy, in timeline playback resolution, change it to half or quarter depending on your device. And in render cache, choose smart. Let's add the voiceover to the timeline. And by the way, you can find the resources of this project in the description. Now, add a solid color from the generator library and adjust it according to the length for the first scene. And change the color to not a pure white, but a very close to it, like Apple always does in their keynotes. Add a text plus layer and let's change the color to a near black. Change the font and write the first word. Change the size from here or down here activate the transform so you can move it like this freely. Now duplicate another text layer by holding on alt and write the second word and make it a bold one to stand out and increase the size. Now go over here and activate the rules so you can add guides to help you to put elements with the precision. Let's put the brain word in the middle like this and put our word above it and let's add another guide. Now add the brain PNG and scale it like this to cover the R and A letters. And let's reposition the word again, then click on the brain word layer and go to the fusion page from here. Here we are going to add a mask over the R and A letters. So click on the template node and click here to add a mask to it. And as you can see, you can adjust it from the viewer like this and also in the inspector tab and when the mask is perfect click here to invert it and there you go now let's add another text layer and write the next part adjust their precision and size and add another guide under it again duplicate another text layer the same as the brain text layer and write the last word and go to the fusion page and delete the rectangle mask then adjust the size and position by using the guides and adjust any other word to match the frame and lastly, change the color to stand out. When you finish, just get rid of the guides. We don't need them anymore. And let's adjust the appearance time of each layer. Just keep listening to the voiceover and crop them manually. Just drag the white handle over here like this to the first two text layers plus the brain PNG. So it gives us a nice fading like this. Our brains up. Let's animate the next text layer. Just click here to go to the fusion page the animation is simple, just right click in the inspector tab and click here on follower. The modifiers tab will appear. So here in timing, make it one for now and go to transform here, change it to word and down here in size, make sure you're in the first frame. Create two keyframes in both X and Y and move like 40 frames and create another one. Return to the first keyframes and reduce both of them to zero. And it will be like this. Now open spline. Select the whole graph and click on F to smooth it out. And to smooth it even further, Ctrl plus T and adjust the graph from here to have this shape. And you will be done. Lastly, create another fading to the last word and the first scene will be like this. Our brains operate in two distinct modes. Now to the second scene. It will contain the same brain in PNG and the background. So extend the two layers, make a cut in both of them by hitting on Ctrl plus B. Then select both of them and right click and click on new fusion clip. Then again, right click and click on open in a fusion page. This is our layers. Just organize them like this. The media one is the white background. Just go over here to activate the dual VR mode. For example, down here, you can see two white circles, which are the two scenes. Just click on one of them. And as you can see, it's the brain PNG. Now drag the media two to the media out so we can add a grid under the brain. Just drag from this point to the merge one. This way the grid will be connected and it will be under the brain. But it's too much. So add a circle mask to it from here and adjust the soft edge to give us a nice fading. Then adjust the size of it and position. Then we're going to add the barcode between media one and three. Like before or click on merge one then shift plus space and search for a merge node and hit OK and connect it like this. Then adjust the size and position of it from the inspector tab and put it above the brain for a modern design. And later on, I'm going to show you the second use of it, so keep watching. 
Sometimes you can't hear the voiceover when you are in the Fusion page, so you keep switching from the Fusion to the Edit page to match the timing right. To fix this, click on a random point away from the node tree, shift plus space and add media in. Then go over here to audio and click on purge audio cache and you will be able to hear the voiceover from here like this. System 1, which is fast. Now let's create the system 1 word with the yellow highlights under it. Add a background and change the color to yellow. Then add a text node and connect it to the background so they will have the same merge. This will be helpful when we are going to adjust them later on. Write the first word and change the font to another style and change the color. Now click on the background and click here to create a polygon mask. Go to the merge and move it to the left so we can see the text. Return to the polygon node and here in the viewer you will see a plus icon. Just click to create two points like this and go to the inspector tab in the border width increase it to gives us this line and click here to change the border size. Later on we are going to use the length over here to animate the line. But now let's add a grid node after the media one and from the settings adjust it like I do here. This is a trick I use to have a kind of guides over here because the fusion page doesn't have the guide like the edit page. When you are done adjust the system one to be above the brain a little bit from the merge settings. Now duplicate the first text node and connect it to the same merge 5 and change the color to a kinda different color and lower the size. Then adjust the grid to help you ahead with the position of the text. Now we're going to animate the text. Click on the text layer shift plus space and add a transform node. Play the voiceover so you can know exactly when the animation starts. For me it's in frame 40. Just create a keyframe in the center over here and move ahead a little after the word stops and the second one starts and create the second keyframe. Return to the first one and lower it a little bit. Then in the merge 7, create two keyframes in the blend over here and lower the first keyframe to zero. And it will be like this. It's fast, automatic. Now open spline and select only the transform with the blend and select the whole graph and click on F to smooth it out. Then Ctrl plus T and adjust it like this to start fast and end slowly for a smooth movement. All you have to do now is make a duplicate from these three layers and simply drag them while holding on shift and when the line changes to a blue color release them and it will be connected. Write the second word and change its position and again create another duplicate and with the same steps connected like this and write the last word. As you can see they will appear at the same time so we are going to adjust the timing. The first method is by opening spline. Select just the transform and merge nodes of the second word, then select the two graphs and move both of them to the frame where the second word starts, but keep it in the same line. And as you can see the timing has been adjusted. Again select the transform and merge nodes of the third word and with the same steps drag it to the right spot. Now when you play it it will be adjusted. Now let's animate the text one node. Here in right on, create two keyframes according to the timing of the word. Then go to the first keyframe and lower it to zero. This way you will have this typing effect. Then we're going to animate the yellow line. Like I said before, from here in the length create two keyframes like the text one node and then go to the first keyframe and lower it to zero. Go to spline and select the polygon and text one and smooth it by hitting on F and it should be like this. System one which is fast, automatic, and unconscious. Now, all you have to do is create a copy from the whole tree node and connect it by holding on shift. Then click on the merge 5 one and from the settings, drag it to the right side. Then we're going to go to every node and write the second part from the system 2 to the other words one by one. And after you hit play, as you can see, they will appear at the same time. So again, we are going to adjust the timing for the second part. The second method is by opening the keyframes tab from here. Just make sure to extend it so we can see the whole animation of this video. Then to find the desired keyframes of any node you want, just click on a random one, then click on the node that you want and it will be selected automatically. So you can find it easily. We are going to extend the text one to layer, select the keyframes, then drag it to the right spot. Then select the second polygon layer and again drag it to the same spot and as you can see it has been adjusted. Now for the text 
make sure to select the transform node with the merge and drag them to the accordion spot. Then with the same steps, do it for the remaining text. And there you go. System one, which is fast, automatic, and unconscious, and system two, which is deliberate and conscious, but requires significant effort. Now, what left is the yellow circle above the brain and a callout. So add a background by clicking on the media tool and just click here to add it automatically. Then add a mask to it by clicking here and drag the qualifier from here to get the same color from the line. Then adjust the size and position, go to the merge and in apply mode change it to screen and reduce the blending to match your liking. Now we are going to add a flicker effect to it in the beginning. In the blending of the Merge 8, create a keyframe every 3 frames until you reach the end of the System 1 text animation. Then, keep the first frame as it is and reduce the second one to 0. And do this loop again until you reach the last one, but make sure that the last one is not 0 and you'll get this flickering effect. System 1 The callout is quite easy. Again, add another background and click on the background and connect it to a polygon mask. Then in the viewer, just draw a line like this from 3 points and increase the border width and animate it from the length here by creating two keyframes like the yellow line before and smooth it in the spline editor and it should be like this. System 1 Now, to create another duplicate from the yellow circle and the callout. With the same steps, connect it, reposition it from the merge to the right side and then open spline and select the whole flicker animation and drag it according to the voiceover. And for the first yellow circle, we're going to create another animation for it. In the end, like we did in the beginning, so when the second circle appears, the first one disappears. With the same steps, create multiple keyframes every three frames in the blending in the end and reduce it like before. And there you go. And system two, which is now, to the second callout, make a copy and drag it to the right and click here to flip it and open spline and again move it to the right position. We did the animation to the scene, so it's time to zoom a little bit. Add a transform after the tree node in the inspector tab, zoom a little bit and move it slightly to the left, but make sure there is enough space to move it to the left and put the brain on the side like this. When you are happy, create a keyframes in the center and move ahead according to the animation of the right half and create another one. Then drag the second keyframe all the way to the left so we can have a constant movement while the words are appearing. Now we are going to create a harsh cut. Just move one frame after the second keyframe and create another one. Then drag the center all the way to the right side just like the first one. Then create another keyframe at the end of the scene and drag it to the right side. This way we are going to have a movement to the left like this, then a cut right away and another movement to the right like this. What left is to smooth the keyframes of the transform with the same steps. Now the scene looks like it's missing something. So as I said before, add a Gaussian blur before the transform node and let's deactivate it from here to see clearly. And click on the Gaussian blur and create circle mask to it. And adjust it in the viewer like this. And make sure it touches the end of the barcode like this. Then in the inspector, click on invert and increase the soft edge. And you can adjust the amount of the blur to your liking. Now let's activate the transform node. And as you can see, we use the barcode with the blur to give a depth to the scene to make it pop a little more. And we are basically done here. There is another thing that I use a lot in the transition from two scenes like this one. Basically I add adjustment layer above two scenes and make it like five to seven frames then I add a Gaussian blur from the effects library, then reduce it like 0.2 to 0.4, then add a fading from the start and the end of the adjustment layer, and you'll have this camera focus kind of transition. Ink modes, system one. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned something from this long tutorial, and see you guys in the next one.